hello YouTube and welcome to your ninth JavaScript tutorial in this tutorial finally we will be moving out of the console and taking hands-on to some HTML and practical real-life examples where we could use JavaScript so this tutorial is about event attributes now what are event attributes in JavaScript we have certain tags like div or input or even body like that supposingly I have this div and I want when user hovers over this div then they get certain information regarding about this div or anything you want I want when the body loads user have certain information what this site is about in an alert box like that I want when the user scroll down the window I want to display user something I want to do like any pop-up box or alert box or anything you want so we can use event attributes in JavaScript to achieve such things body coming to body we have an event attribute which says on load now on load here is an HTML attribute but it's also a JavaScript attribute which is fired by JavaScript now for instance if I write body on load alert then when I will refresh my browser page then I'll see a JavaScript alert and this alert occurs when the body is ready and is loaded these on this on load is right now a JavaScript event attribute we have certain event attributes like on mouse over and on mouse move on mouse down and like that and HTML5 adds tons of attributes tons of even attributes to JavaScript but it would be out of the scope of this tutorial to discuss all of those attributes but I'll be discussing most of the attributes with you for instance let's create a function a simple function a notify and let's do console.log I am being forward uh, let's create an input box okay so when we refresh this page let's remove this we get an input box now in this input box let's add a JavaScript event attribute on mouse over and let's say this to run our function now what happens is when we hover over this input type then a function is fired this a notify function which console logs that I am being hovered and as you can see in the browser we get I am being hovered again and again whenever we hover over this input type box the next important event is on mouse down now on mouse down is fired when the click is being hold for instance when I click it but doesn't release the click then this whole event is on mouse down so let's say I am being mouse down <laughs> sounds funny okay so when I click on this but doesn't release my mouse click then this event is currently mouse down and as you can see the console it is logged another thing another time let's do it and you can see I am being mouse down is console logged again the next important event we have is on click on click is very important because this is used many a times in many web applications for instance this event fires when we complete the click uh, it is not like on mouse down because this event is fired when a full click gets complete for example clicking on the button uh, the input type box and releasing the in, uh, click is when the click is complete as you can see the next important thing we have that on 
key up so let's do on key up now this is a keyboard type event which happens when we press the key now on key up occurs when I release the key as long as I am holding the key it will not occur or it will not fire actually but as soon as I release the key the event occurs if you pay close attention then you will see that I am pressing the key M right now but I am not releasing it and the event is not firing actually but as soon as I release the key the increment here occurs as it shows that the event has fired similarly we have another event on key down on key down occurs when the key is pressed down instead of waiting for JavaScript to release the key for instance when I press the key M you can see the counter rushes and incrementing at a tremendous rate because I am not releasing the key M right now but as soon as we release it the event gets over the next event is on wheel now this is an HTML a kind of HTML5 and a JavaScript event which fires when we have uh, the scroll what you say this the wheel on the mouse which we happens which this event occurs when we move the wheel of the mouse on the selector we have here right now we have input for example if I move my wheel of the mouse on this input then you can see the counter increments I'm being clicked whatever it is I'm being mouse wheeled like that the next event we have is on mouse out on mouse out now what it does is when we have for example I entered this area mouse out I enter this area and I leave this area with my cursor then the event fires I am being mouse out for example I enter this and I leave this then this event is fired this event could be used to stop your visitors from leaving your what you say the website by the following trick for example you can add this event body on mouse out a notify and this function could trigger that while leaving so early for example if we refresh this and we get out of the body then this JavaScript event alerts while leaving so early cool isn't it and the final I have to tell you is the on double click like like on click it is similar like on double click and similarly it fires an event when I double click it then only the event would fire the next important thing I would like to tell about these events is you can actually supply a parameter any parameter for instance I'll do a E right now and here as well now no, not E here this now what happens is this E parameter contains the values sent by this input box for example if I console log this E parameter and comment out the alert statement and double click ok so you can see that this E parameter actually sent this mm, DOM node values which we can retrieve with JavaScript further for example if we have value set to let's say 1 2 3 4 ok and we refresh this and we double click here we have this value here and console.log e.value as you can see we get what the value instead of the whole HTML node so this e value could be used to show dynamic input output to the user for example you could use alert to generate that you just 
entered this value and it's as simple as that as you can see this is dynamic so there are many attributes regarding event in JavaScript and in HTML5 in fact HTML5 adds a lot of attributes you could use like uh, on load on wheel as I told you if you are interested you can go to Mozilla developers network to have a look on all of them but mostly you won't be using all of those but only these few which are on mouse move mouse down click double click and mouse out key up key down like that for user validation so I hope you had liked this tutorial and if you have not then below the video there's a thumbs up button do it right now subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching